I was at the coolest day in Texas and your boy still finds a way to be high. Woo. What's good with it? It's your Kenfo Dookie back again with Bang. Budget and new gear reviews that we get the best bang for your tech dollars. Now, it's been established. I'm probably the coolest tech YouTuber. Yep. This is probably about the coolest day in Texas. And I'm here to talk to you about the coolest AOI that right. I've seen in a while. The Arctic Liquid Freezer 2 240. This thing is a beast, man. Let's go ahead and check it out. Now, before we go any further, I wanna give a big shout out to Arctic. They did send this over for me to review, but remember, all opinions, as always, on this channel are 150% mine. Don't play yourself. You may remember, I don't know if I mentioned this, when I started to work on my main PC build here, 3900X, Right now, it's got a RTX 2080 Super in it. Shout out to y'all in the comments, man. Every now and then, you know, your boy's not perfect. Somebody will come in the comments to say something and let me know where I may have made a mistake or something like that. So I got a video on that coming. Make sure you stay tuned. So in the meantime, in between time, I was over here prepping this system. I don't know if you can see this. If y'all remember this PC right here, this was the first of the mini ITX builds that I started working on. This is the Neo Mini. Uh, I wanna say the Neo G. I don't know why I'm saying mm. Neo Geo Mini. I really love this case. It's mini ITX, but it's not necessarily small form factor. So it's kind of a big ITX case, but I really like the style, the design. It's got that silver box look that kind of reminds me of an Apple product. So I was actually working on turning this into a Hackintosh. Now, I've been wanting to do a Hackintosh uh, for the last six months, just kept putting it off, putting it off. Big shouts to the homie Sonny of Tech Tuner Life. I got that video coming where he really helps me out. He's gonna be a part of that. We got a collab coming, so make sure y'all stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, while I was getting prepared, let me get right. In the meantime, while I was getting prepared for that, I said, man, I wanna throw this cooler in here, man. I just wanna have a quiet system running Mac and I might dual boot it with Linux. I put this all back together. It's got Windows on here for now, just so we can do these specific tests. Now, why do I call this cooler the coolest cooler that I've seen? Obviously, looks wise, it's got a very different look to it. You get this really massive radiator over here. You get these new fans that they've reconfigured to really be more powerful and efficient. This is one of the craziest looking pumps that I've seen that doesn't have like crazy RGB all over it. Why don't we run some tests? We're gonna do this all in real time so you guys can see exactly what I'm working with. If you look back here on this system right now, I'm running ADA 64. It's been going for 37 minutes, 33 seconds. Now, hold up, let's bring you in here. That's what I'm working with. In here, we have a Ryzen 2700X, eight core, 16 thread CPU. It's currently being cooled by the AMD uh, Wraith Prism. It's been running 39 minutes and 58 seconds. You can see that the max temperature was 59 degrees Celsius, and that it's kind of hovering at about 51 to 53 for the most part. Right now it's currently 53. Now, no matter how much I'm sweating in here because we got the heat on and all of that, this really is one of the coolest days of the year. So that really won't affect the temperatures of this test right here. But those synthetic tests really push it to the max. Enough of that. Let's just go ahead and get this cooler installed and see what it's looking like.
Mic check. All right, let's do this again with the mic on. I don't know what I was doing, but we got it all built together. It's sitting here, it's beautiful. It looks great and it's quiet. And it's been running 20 minutes under Ida 64. If you know me, I love RGB, but I actually have been cutting back a little bit on it. I turned off all the lights on my main system and I still got lights all over the place, but I kind of been going for a more matte, stealth look. You have the tubes right here that have this black and silver look that actually matches the whole theme of the PC. If you watched when I was doing the time lapse, I had to turn the fans around because the way they're set up out of the box is like this. If you have a system here, you have your radiator up top where you have exhaust coming out of this way. So it would be exhausting the fans. I have it here as an intake. So you have to switch those fans around so you can pull air in through here to the side, exhaust out of the back. All right, so we're gonna see what's good. I'm thinking these are some really good numbers, but you guys let me know down below in the comments. It's been running for almost 30 minutes now and the max temp was 48 degrees. 48 degrees when before we were sitting in the low 60s like that 48 degrees is crazy it was idling at like 28 degrees almost 30 degrees just on the idle it was super cool all right what's good folks i wanted to break in here real quick i know somebody will probably talk about it down below in the comments so what i did is come in here and do a quick and dirty overclock i went into the bios enabled the xmp or whatever the setting is for amd i went in there enabled that for the memory to kick that up to 3000 megahertz and then i came into ryzen master i know that's not the proper way to overclock but i came in here and did a quick dirty all core 4.0 overclock with 1.33125 on the CPU voltage. If you look here at the temperatures, it averages around 75 C, which is actually pretty good given that it's overclocked with that much voltage. You can see there are some spikes that if we come here on the statistics, you can see it did spike up to about 88. Even now it jumped up quickly to about 84, but overall on average, we're hovering at about 76 to 77 degrees on the average. I really am giving this the stamp of approval. Y'all let me know what you think down below and let's get back to the rest of the video. Man, I gotta give a big shout out to Arctic for sending this over. This is definitely, hands down, the coolest AIO that I've used. Plain and simple. I love the new design that they have here on the block. Some people may not like it, I actually do. I think it's pretty cool. It's just your standard, normal CPU block. You have this extra cooling fan on the pump block as well. So everything right here is going to really keep your system just at those optimal temps. Now what I wanna do is put this up against your favorite all-in-one cooler. So what I'm gonna do is check the comments. You guys let me know what you've been using, what you saw, what you thought, what you had on your old PC, what you wanna get for your new PC. The one that I see that is kind of the consensus that people wanna go head up against this one, I'm gonna get it. We're gonna put them head to head, see who gonna get that work, all right? I'm gonna get up out of here. Next time y'all see this system, it's gonna be a hackintosh. So get ready for that. Make sure you subscribe. Don't miss out, all right? I'm gonna get up out of here. It's your kid for Dookie. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and never forget to holla at your boy. I went outside and enjoyed a nice winter, summer day of Texas. Um, it's a lot, it was, you know, I was just enjoying myself, living life. I had pizza and wings, you know, don't be mad. It was real good, it was you know, a nice afternoon.